Hi, I'm Daniel Gross. I'm a senior developer advocate with IoT Ecosystem Services at AWS. In this video, I'll talk about debugging free RTOS with QEMU in VS Code. Let's get started. So what is QEMU and why would we want to debug it? Well, QEMU is a machine emulator that allows you to virtualize hardware types even across different architectures. You can run applications against hardware targets that you may not have immediate access to. This might be because A, you are still in the process of selecting a chipset for an embedded design, or B, your boards are somewhere else, like a lab, or C, you want to run automated tests without physical hardware, or D, the real hardware is simply in short supply. Great, so what do we need to get started for this example? Well, first you need VS Code, and I'll provide links in the description of the video below so you can uh, find them there. First you'll need VS Code, then you need QEMU, then you need the ARM GNU toolchain, then CMake and Git. And then finally you also need Make, and Make can be installed a number of ways depending on your host environment. It can be installed with Chocolatey on Windows or Homebrew on Mac or using the Build Essential package in Linux. Finally, we need to add QEMU, the ARM GNU compiler, CMake, and Make installation paths to the path environment variable. And each OS has a different way to do that. Okay, once the tools are installed and added to your path, the last thing we need to do is clone the repository. So we're going to clone the FreeRTOS FreeRTOS repository as part of the FreeRTOS organization. And be sure to add the flag recurse submodules so that you get everything in the repository. Okay, now let's look at a demo. I've launched VS Code here, and the first thing you need to do is navigate to where you installed the repo. And so you open your folder and navigate to FreeRTOS, FreeRTOS, demo. And then under the demo section, you'll see a number of subfolders. And here we want to find Cortex MPS2, QEMU, IAR, GCC. Go ahead and open that folder. Now that we have the folder open in VS Code, we want to first navigate to the .VS Code subfolder. And under the .VS Code subfolder, there's a launch.json file. This needs to be edited so that the parameter mi debugger path is set to the proper path of where your debugger is located. So in my example, I have it installed in this path. Once you've uh, changed the value of mi debugger path, we can close launch.json. Next, we want to open up the main.c file. Now here, navigate down to the pound define that's called main create simple blinky demo only, and make sure that that's set to one. Great. Now we can close main.c. And here we can click on the Run and Debug button on the left in VS Code. And if we click on that, you should see a pull down called Launch QEMU RTOS Demo. If you select that and press the Play button, the project will build and run and attach the debugger. I'll wait a minute for that to happen.
Great. Now that it's built, you can see that it's started. And now we've attached the debugger. So here it stopped at the at the first point in the code. Now we have our controls here in the debugger up above. We can continue. We can step over code. We can step into code. And we can step out of code. Or we can restart. Or we can stop the debugger. You'll notice too you can set breakpoints by clicking next to the line number and adding a breakpoint. In this example, I'll just hit continue. Now if I continue with the application, we'll see that the application is running. If I want to pause the application, we'll see that where I press the pause button is where the application pauses. Now I can use my controls to debug. And then I can stop the debugger. I won't go into details on the things you can debug but you can see that you can um, have a, a lot of control over debugging. To see the full application, you can check out the source code. And with that, that's the end of the demo. OK, so some resources for you. You can check out the IoT Builders Dev Community blog called Debugging Free RTOS with QEMU in VS Code. And that will give you details on this, uh, this process. Uh, there's also the Free RTOS GitHub repo with demo code, which you cloned. And there's the QEMU demo code that you can uh, investigate further, which is under the subfolder uh, Cortex MPS2 QEMU IARGCC. Thanks a lot for watching and happy debugging.